welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back here to the channel guys and coming up for you today is a really, really important video because ahead of the brand new season and now with a new head coach, we're going to be assessing Ronald Koeman's options right throughout this Barca squad. What has he got to choose from? Where are the strengths in our current team? And of course in the final weeks here of the transfer market, where do we need to strengthen? It's all coming up in today's video. So let's get to it. Because of course, Ronald Koeman coming into Barcelona does have a number of options in his team to choose from. There will also be players there who have returned from loan in the previous campaign. There will also be several new signings and of course B-team players that Koeman himself will get to choose from. But of course, there's also going to be players heading out of the exit door. And like I say, now we need to look at where this team is doing well, where we're strong, what areas can we really compete in. But at the same time, you are going to notice there are several places still in this team that we simply have to address because our options, they're just not good enough. And if we do indeed start with the goalkeeping positions at Barcelona, which are pretty much confirmed ahead of the new season. Of course, Marc-Andre Ter Stegen is the undisputed number one goalkeeper, even though he will miss the start of the new season, which will see Neto there deputise as the number one. And in turn, we'll see Iñaki Peña starting as the deputy goalkeeper in the new season. And possibly he will remain there in the first team with Arnaud Tenas taking over the reins at Barca B. So Ter Stegen, Neto and Iñaki. Yaki Pena are three goalkeepers for the season. At left back, it is still Jordi Alba, who right now will still go into the new season as our number one left back, as he has been now for several seasons. And right now, Junior Firpo does look set to still stay at Barcelona, even despite a tricky first campaign. He may well get a chance now under Koeman to prove himself as a Barca player. We also have Juan Miranda, who's coming back there from a pretty unsuccessful loan at Schalke. He's likely to go out on loan again. Again, and Yakiemi, who is the Barcelona B left back, and I think has shown some really good promise, but he's also likely to go out on loan or even a permanent transfer, just like we saw with Danny Mora. And left back there for me is an area that I think we can definitely strengthen. I think Firpo, I think Alba as well, they can both be upgraded to be perfectly honest. And I think left back is an area in this team that I would look to to improve. And it's exactly the same story when you cross over there to the right side, because this for me is a really worrying part of our team, because all you've got right now is Nelson Semedo who as we know in the Champions League against Bayern had an absolutely disastrous game there's no other way of putting it he was absolutely woeful in us conceding eight goals in that game and his deputy right now is Musa Wage now of course we've got Emerson further down the line who may come back from Real Betis but that won't happen until 2021 of course we've got Sergio Roberto but with Ronald Koeman only seeing him as a midfielder this right now is what we have at right back and that's why I feel as though as these weeks go on I think we're guaranteed to see a signing. I don't know who. I think the media right now don't know who. But I think Barca, they've got to bring one in because that again, it's not good enough. Centre-back is another area that we as Barcelona fans have been crying out now for quite some time for Barcelona to bring in some genuine quality in those areas. But once again, we do look to be starting the season in the same sort of shape. Gerard Piquet there, Clement Longley. You've got Sam Wallentetti who may or may not be on his way out. And even if he stays, there's no guarantee that he's going to be fit to play. Then you've got the likes of Roald Araujo, who played really, really well given his chance last season. And I think hopefully he's going to get more minutes in the coming campaign under Ronald and then, of course, you've got Tadebo. What's his situation right now? The club seem very, very intent, and they have done for some time to get him out, either to sell him or loan him again. But I just think right now, looking at our options there, looking at the lack of depth at centre-back, why wouldn't you keep Tadebo? At this stage, if you're not going to bring somebody in, we've heard the links, of course, to Eric Garcia. But for me, just like in the full-back areas, centre-back it still must be addressed. In the midfield positions, though, I'm basing this here on Ronald Koeman's expected 4-2-3-1 formation. And I do have to say, midfield is certainly strong for us. You've got Frank de Jong there starting at the base of midfield. I do believe that he'll start ahead of Sergio Busquets in the pecking order. And I also believe that Miralem Pjanic coming in is going to be a real asset in that midfield under Koeman. And he is going to get quite significant game time there in that holding area. I've also spoken already about the fact that Koeman sees Sergio 
Sergio Roberto there as a midfield player, and he could also be deployed there as a holding midfielder. You've got the likes of Oriol Busquets, you've got Ludovic Rice as well, you've got Fernandes, who I think all of those players will likely go out on loan in the coming season. And then it's difficult, because you've got somebody like Ricky Pooch, who I really, really hope that under Koeman we can kick on from what we saw in some of Setien's time at the club. I want to see him in that team, but the question is, where does he fit there into the Ronald Koeman midfield? Because I think in that deep position, as a holding midfield player, it doesn't really suit Ricky Pooch. So then do you push him on to play there as a more offensive midfielder? I think that's probably the best route to go with him. You've got Carla Shalenia, who again would be more of an offensive player in that midfield. And of course you do have Felipe Coutinho as well, returning from loan and a real option in that number 10 position. And I think that's why when you look at those midfield options, when you look there not only at the quality of the players, but also there there's so many different profiles. You've got defensive players, you've got offensive players, you've got players there who can do a bit of both. And that's why I think, looking at this transfer window, a midfielder, it shouldn't be anywhere near our priority. If we only have a certain amount of money to spend, and we do, if we are limited in what we can actually go out and buy, we really, really shouldn't be wasting money, I feel, on a midfielder when we have all of these options available to us now. But... Then you move on to the forward positions. And if we do start out on the wide left-hand side, you've got Ansu Fati, who of course had his breakthrough campaign last season. He kicked on, he kept improving all the time. We've seen it recently with the Spanish national team. He is an outstanding, outstanding talent. And he should be a regular in this Barca team under Koeman. You've got Pedri, who can also play there as an attacking midfielder, but he has played most of his football out on the left-hand side. So he's another option with the first team this season. Out on the right, you've got Ousmane Dembele. Of course, you're hoping and you're crossing everything, hoping that he's going to stay fit in the coming season. And if he can, he's a massive, massive asset on that right-hand side. To be able to actually rely there and play consistently, Ousmane Dembele, that will lift our team no end. And of course, as well, you've got Francisco Trincao, another right-winger there, who is absolutely outstanding, a real talent to add to our team. And that's why I think this season, we'll probably see Messi in a more central role. We know that he likes to come inside anyway. We know that he does prefer to play in that central position, either there as an outright number 10. You could see him at times maybe even as a false nine because the one area of this team that you look at right now and you do say that if Suarez is going to go, if there are going to be players who are going to leave the club, centre forward, there are question marks because you do have Antoine Griezmann in that role and I think we would all like to see him in a more central position this season and I do believe we will see that under Ronald Koeman but I've got here, I've got Braithwaite, you've got Suarez. Are those two going to leave the club? That's a possibility. I think Braithwaite may stay on as as a backup, I think Suarez, the club pushing him right now to leave. You've got Rafinha, you've got Vidal. I've also got them down right now as leaving the club. But I think that centre forward position, that would be something there that if Suarez goes, I can see why you're looking at Depay. I can see why they're looking at Lataro Martinez. I think you could definitely look to bring somebody in. But I think our wide options there in the forward areas, and particularly there in midfield going forward, the options look really, really good. But undoubtedly, along with that centre forward position, it's it's the fullbacks, it's the centre backs, it's the whole of that defence. We need more. We genuinely need more in those areas to compete at the top level. And of course, we'll also have to keep a very, very close eye on what the club decide to do with Alex Collado and also with Monchu, who don't appear to be part of Koeman's plans for the new season. But what I'm hoping with those two is, with the quality you've got, with the potential they've shown, I hope we don't sell them. Both of those players have talent. Loaning them out may be the best option right now. But of course, guys, I need to know, and I really want to know, what your thoughts are. Which area right now of this team do you think that we're really strong? Where would you say that we've got some really, really good depth in this team? Who would you like to see maybe moved on? But where do you feel right now that we need to strengthen? Where do you feel looking at those options and you're thinking that's not right? That's not really the kind of level of quality and the level of depth we need for a very top team? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. The transfer window, it is still open until the start of October. And these are some massive, massive weeks to come for the whole club, and especially for Ronald Koeman. I will see you soon, of course, with plenty more videos to come as we're looking ahead now to that new season, both here and on More Talk FCB. But until next time, as always, guys, Vizca El Barca. Oh.